Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Frankie, and I do a tribute to Frankie Valley. Now, what are the chances? I've got the same name as the guy I tribute. And not only that, I look exactly the same as Frankie Valley, don't I? Even though he's 80 years old. I chose Frankie Valley because I've got an unusual, powerful falsetto voice. So I looked at many shows and thought, what's not been done yet? What's different? What does the audience really want? What do they really like to see? So I worked on that type of show. The most important thing I think about being a tribute artist is not, not only to emulate that tribute artist exactly as they was, but to put your own twist on it. So they can see your character coming through as well as the person you're portraying. And I think that's the magic, I think that's what makes it. It's like taking an idea and improving it. Audience participation, I think, is the most important thing. If if the audience are involved right from the word go, then you, you've you've won. It's for the first ten minutes for me is the most important of the whole show. That's where you want to get the audience on your side. So the main idea of my show is to take you straight back to where you was at that time, exactly how it was when that song came out. So that's when I tried to emulate all the different singers and the different movements and mannerisms they had. And um, whether it's me doing it on the stage or in the audience. Halfway through the show, I transform into the Rockin' Rebel, where the red jacket comes off, the leather jacket comes on, the rock and roll hair comes down, and uh, we have a full on rock and roll show. Oh, well, come on, everybody, and let's get together tonight. I got some money in my jeans, and I'm really gonna spend it right. Find your entertainment and services the easy way with Entertainers Worldwide.